Episode 14 of 2521 starts with Min Shi desperate to find her mother's next diary. Realizing that the age of the internet is just starting to drop upon us, Min Shi heads online and finds a news article from 2009. Yi Jin is reporting where he communicates with He Du after winning her third gold medal in a row. They keep things professional, with Yi Jin addressing the audience and pointing out he's covered He Du's development for large stretches of her career. She reflects back on the hardest match she's had, coming from the final in Madrid 2001, against none other than Urim. So how did Urim get to play for the Russian team? Well, to find out we jump to February 2000. Yi Jin and He Du head inside holding hands, admitting their official now to Jai Wing and the gang. Jai Wing points out how beautiful Yi Jin is, while Sun Wan laments that she's now the third wheel in this group dynamic. However, that's soon thwarted when the gang all start playing drinking games. It's pretty funny, especially as it's Yi Jin who loses every single one. Heading back home, the gang are all drunk, and Yi Jin ends up with pen scribbles all over his face. Jai Wing and Yu Rim leave together, but when they pass in the bus the dreaded white truck crosses parallel to them, and crashes off screen. And who should be driving? Yep, it's Yu Rim's father. When Yu Rim finds out, she races to the hospital. Her dad is okay though, save for a broken arm. Unfortunately, the car he's hit happens to sport a boy inside who is currently in the operating theater. Urim's dad has enough financial woes, and he's unable to compensate for the victim's medical bills. If he doesn't settle though, he could end up in jail. So the only solution the family can think of is selling the shop. This is the beginning of Urim's move, exacerbated as a result of the accident. She's going to change her nationality to Russia, earning the gold medal and the money to release the burden hanging over her family. She knows how much they've sacrificed to let her succeed, and now she's going to do the same thing. I want to put an end to this misery, she reassures them. It's a really heartbreaking turn of events, especially as her parents begin crying, while Jai Wing is later tasked with hosting a farewell party for her. Yi Jin realizes what this entails, given his job, and knows that he's going to have to betray his friends. When Yi Jin heads home, the laughter from Yu Rim's farewell party floats lazily out the window. That laughter soon dissipates when they turn on the news and see the report from Yi Jin break. Just like what Jay Kang did with Ko Chiang, Yi Jin has betrayed his friends for his career. He Du is understandably angry when she finds out. Yi Jin is conflicted, torn between his job as a reporter and his loyalty to friends, and he seems to know it was always going to end up this way. With Yu Rim heading to Russia, she breaks the news to Jai Wing that they're going to have to break up. She doesn't want to make promises that they may not be able to keep. Yu Rim wants him to live for himself, not for her, and that means making the really tough decision to break up. Unfortunately, while she's packing her things up the next day, she reflects back on how she's feeling and finds the place swarming with reporters. Out of all the people to ring, Yi Jin turns to He Du for help. He Du tricks all the reporters with Yu Rim's help, dressing up a mannequin facing away from the press. As the vultures swarm inside, can you guess I really hate your nose? He Du and Yu Rim race off together and manage to escape. Their moments of happiness and laughter are bittersweet, as these enemies turned friends turned besties are now on the verge of leaving each other forever. This isn't something Yu Rim wants to do, but she feels compelled to do right by her family. Every moment that we spend together made me happy. He Du eventually says, as the pair hug it out and say their goodbyes. Unfortunately, Jai Wing isn't there, but he drives up to the airport in his aunt's car, getting over the fear he had last episode, now that it's something as important seeing Yu Rim off. When Jai Wing arrives at the airport, he promises to be loyal to Yu Rim, doing everything he can to endure and stay together no matter what. Even if all she can give him is misery, he's going to endure that as he wants them to be together. He's even taught her the Russian for I have a boyfriend called Jai Wing. As she says the words, Jai Wing kisses her. Thanks to Yi Jin's report, Yu Rim is labeled as a traitor, and she's rejected by the public, who rip up her posters, there's even graffiti on the walls in a tunnel, reading Ko Yu Rim is a traitor. As Yi Jin breaks down into tears, He Du happens to be in front of him watching. As we cut back to the awkward interview, He Du promises to support Yi Jin in his current journey. As they stare at one another in unwavering silence, he eventually tells He Du congratulations on your wedding. Wait, who has He Du married? What's happened in this time? I would imagine that He Du and Yi Jin are actually the ones getting together, but with the whole thing hidden from the public, Yi Jin has now grown to be able to hide his true feelings for the sake of his career. While episode 13 was much more light-hearted in tone, this one completely switches things up, delivering a really poignant and heartbreaking chapter. The whole drama involving Yu Rim was so well-paced, and it's matched by details that help this one stand out. The little touches are ultimately what make this so enthralling. A good example is Jai Wing driving his aunt's car fast down the road. Ordinarily it would be a standard scene in a K-drama, but we know that Jai Wing is a nervous driver. That was established last episode. But yet, he swallows his pride, faces his fear and races up to the airport to see his lover off. 
quite how 2521 is going to wrap everything up in two weeks is anyone's guess, but it would seem that we're certainly not done with the drama just yet. Now comes the agonizing wait for next week.